Hey everyone, it's us Jill Man, and welcome to another video game review. This time I'm going to be reviewing the third person shooter from Remedy and 505 Games, Control. So the first thing I'll say is that Control is definitely one of the weirder games you can play. Like it's not very far out there, but there is some weird stuff that happens. Uh, the main story is that you play Jesse and you come into this place which is called the Federal Bureau of Control and it's basically a top secret government place where a bunch of weird stuff happens like just the paranormal and a whole bunch of other stuff is just in this building and you become director and you have another reason that you're there like a main reason and I really liked the story um, I guess I should really say I really liked the world that they built um, the setting itself is interesting enough. You're in a government bureaucracy building. So, you know, it's a lot of concrete. But uh, the game has a lot of great uh, lighting. So that really helps with the setting. It helps differentiate all the different places. And I really liked exploring the world. It kept everything interesting enough. It wasn't just, you know, a bunch of gray and just a bunch of boring. And... I also really liked all the characters that they introduced throughout the game. Uh, it really helps that all of them are very well written, very well acted. Like, you know, it's Remedy, so that's what you should expect. The only character I really didn't like was the main character. She just kind of seemed like she was there and underdeveloped. And uh, like I said, the main character herself is well voice acted, but I, there just wasn't a lot there for her to do. Another thing I will say is that I think the game looks pretty good. Um, it's not, I don't think it's the best looking game that I've ever seen, but it has a nice art style to it and it just looks great. As I've said before, the lighting throughout the entire game is fantastic and really helps sell the mood of everything that they're going for. And I also think there's a lot of great effects work as well. Um, that also really helps sell the game. And... The only thing I will say, though, is that while it does look great, a lot of it can lead to a lot of slowdown, especially when there's just a lot of stuff going on all at once. And there's also times when, like, just a lot of loading, a lot of loading screens will happen and just some other technical stuff. Um, it's nothing that really brought me out of the experience. And I was playing on a base PS4, so... I've heard that it's still a problem on PS4 Pro and Xbox One, but for me it was probably more pronounced. And as I said, it didn't really take me out of the experience, but it is something to keep in mind. Um, the next thing I do want to talk about is the gameplay itself. So this is a third-person shooter, and I will say that the gameplay is probably the best part of the game itself, like the actual combat. Um, so you do have a gun, and... It doesn't have any ammo, but it does have a bar that as you use up your bullets, it goes down and it takes time to recharge. And it's a nice system. I like it quite well. It works well. Sorry. Um, you also get abilities throughout the game, and they're actually quite fun to use, and they spice up the combat quite a bit. Uh, two of my personal favorites was the first launch ability that you get, where you can pick up an item and throw it at an enemy. It works really well and can be very powerful, especially when you upgrade it to a certain point and the mind control ability so you can get an enemy low walk in mind control them and they fight for you for a little bit so those two were my favorites um there's also a few more i don't want to get into them to avoid too many spoilers um but as you go throughout the game you can upgrade your gun to from being like just a basic pistol to Having many different forms, um, there's like a shotgun form, which is called Shatter, uh, Pierce, and a few others. And then the abilities as well, you can upgrade everything, and yeah, it really spices up the combat, and throughout the game you do encounter more enemy types of the Hiss, uh, that's what they're called in this game, is the Hiss, and it does spice up combat quite a bit, and as I said, it's one of my favorite parts of the game. That being said, though, um, it can get a little boring and repetitive at times. Like, as I said before, it's not enough to really take you out of the experience, but it is something to keep in mind. But everything just feels so nice to use that it really didn't bother me too much. Um, 
There's also quite a few boss fights. Well, okay, there's like maybe three or four, but I really like them. They're very memorable. Um, another thing I actually really like about this game is that there are meaningful side quests. Um, I know, right? It's so weird because uh, most side quests these days just boil down to either simple fetch quests or, you know, nothing, just busy work. But in this game, there's like multi-part, like hours long worth side quests. And it's actually really cool. It's some of the best stuff in the game. Another thing I do want to point out, though, is that I'm actually not that big of a fan of the Hiss themselves. Um, they're fine. Like, their motivations are just kind of whatever, but they're just kind of boring. Um, there is another enemy faction in the game. I don't want to spoil what they're called or anything, um, but they're relegated to, like, side quests, and I actually really enjoyed them a lot more than the Hiss. Um, and that goes for, like, the main story as well as you're exploring, um... Like, the main story's fine. Like, I enjoyed it. It kept me going through. But the side quests are really where it's at. And, like, as you explore, you see little nook and crannies. And you just see, like, the world building that's going on. And I enjoyed that stuff a lot more than actually going through the main stuff. Um, where was I? Uh, the Another thing I do want to point out for any of the plat the trophy hunters and achievement hunters is that the Platinum's actually not too hard to get. Um, I will say, though, that they don't keep track of the stats you think they would. So it makes uh, that Platinum grind a little tough because you don't know how far along you are on some of them. But it's really not too bad. Um, and, yeah, I'm trying to think. I think that's all I have for my notes. Um... Oh yeah, I was going to bring up the in-game map. I know some people talked about this already. I, I'll bring it up myself. Uh, the in-game map is bad. Um, it feels like it was thrown in at the last minute. That's kind of what I think. Uh, because when you use like the in-game signs that tell you, like, okay, I need to go to maintenance sector ventilation, and you just follow the signs, it's actually a lot better than using the map that you can pull up on the D-pad. And I actually think the game was originally meant to be played that way, where there was no map. You just follow all the signs. And as soon as you can learn to just not even use the map, it becomes a whole lot better to explore. Although there is a part of me that does think this game would be a little better if it was uh, just a single player, or not single player, sorry, just a linear game. Because that's kind of what I thought it would be, but it's more open than you think. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have for my notes, so I'll move on to my final thoughts. So, Control is a really good game. I don't think it's a great game, but it's pretty enjoyable for me. Um, its combat is where it shines brightest, and it's just a lot of fun to go through with all the different weapons and abilities that you get. Um, the story itself is pretty good. It keeps you moving along. There's some interesting stuff in there, but it's really exploring the Bureau and just seeing, um, all the little different Easter eggs and just the world building that goes on that really brings this, uh, the story up a peg. And as I said, it looks nice. It's very well acted, very well written. So if you know you're going to like this game, like I would recommend getting it in if you're still on the fence, I would say give it a shot. Um, I would understand if you wanted to wait for a uh, sale, but I would say just go for it if you think you're going to like it. Um, and I think the other thing I wanted to say is I actually wouldn't mind a sequel. There's like, what are two things they need to change? And I think it would be amazing. But as it is right now, I think it's just a pretty good game. And there's also a season pass and DLC coming out, I guess. So we'll wait and see for that. But that's all I have for this review. So if you liked what you've seen, you can go ahead and uh, like this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to my channel for more game reviews, streams, and all the good gaming stuff. Sorry, uh, it's been a while since I've actually made a proper YouTube video. I kind of almost did my Twitch sign off. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.